today I'm going to show you guys how to trick a dog into taking a bath. What you want to do is start with two snacks, one to lure him or her in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come on. Once you lure the dog in, close the door so he doesn't run out. And give him a snack when it gets into the bathtub. Come on. Go, go, there we go, I tricked you now Akira, don't let her out. So today it's going to be a super exclusive video, I'm going to be also using some of this Hearts Ultra Card <laughs> Red Flea and Tick Shampoo that I got from Walmart for a little bit over 6 bucks. Let's get started. So first I'm going to start by turn off, turning on the water. You want a lukewarm setting, not too cold, not too hot. There we go. What you're gonna do is wet the dog, just like so. Kira, you haven't taken a bath for like over a year. I'm sorry, but you stink. All right, make sure she's all wet. Then we will apply the shampoo. You know what? I might as well jump in. This will make it easier. So you guys could get a detailed look. Yeah, this kind of has have a citrusy smell. It's supposed to be kills fleas and tick. I don't know how well it works. I saw some of the reviews. Got some mixed comments. Make sure to wash, wash, make sure to wash the private spot, especially the butt, lift up the tail, turn her over, let her some more, and it's about to be rinsed wow. off. It can be rinsed off. This is probably the best done outdoors because if you have all these ball here, they might stock up your drain. Again, lukewarm water. Spread out all the water. Make sure you wash away all the shampoo. And be careful with the dog's eyes. Let's thoroughly. Oh, that water is so dirty. Come take a look at it. And look at all the dog hair. See what I'm talking about? You don't want that going down the drain. Well, let's finish up and dry you up. You can it all nice and clean. Now let's dry you up. And then we'll give you a treat for your good job. Look at how dirty the water is. So it's best to use a strainer to pick up all the dog hair. Because you don't want this going down the drain. It will stuck it up. In the long run, think about all the hair that you get from washing your hair and also the dog's hair. That's why I'm saying it's best, it's preferred to wash the dog outdoors. Awesome job today. Thank you for participating. So here's your snack as a show, as an appreciation. All right, and open the door. And let the dog out. So how do you like this shower? I bet you smell real good right now, right? Guarding yourself against fleas and ticks. So on scale of 1 to 100%, I would recommend these hearts shampoo. I think I'd give this a 80%. It would dry yourself.